Beneath the surface of your soil lies a vast underground network that directly impacts soil health and plant growth. This underground system, which is largely unseen to the naked eye, consists of fungi, mushrooms, mycelium, and mycorrhiza. Many people recognize mushrooms, but the real magic happens below the soil, where mycelium weaves through organic matter, helping to break it down and forming symbiotic relationships with plants. By understanding and nurturing these relationships, we can create healthier plants, healthier soils, and an overall better garden ecosystem. So let's dive into this underground world a little bit more. Actually, before we head underground, let's talk about shrooms. No, no, not that kind. That's a different video for a different channel. Mushrooms are the reproductive systems of certain fungi, similar to how a plant spreads seeds. The mushrooms will emerge from the soil, logs, or other decomposing organic matter and help to spread spores around so that the fungal network continues to grow. Mushrooms have many medicinal and culinary purposes, but others can be extremely toxic and sometimes even deadly. So my rule of thumb is that I don't eat mushrooms that grow in my garden, even if I've inoculated them purposefully, because I also use mushroom compost and I don't want to get the two confused. So we're all adults here. Do your own research, form your own opinions before putting things in your mouth. Beyond their culinary and medicinal uses, mushrooms also serve a vital role in the ecosystem as decomposers. They decompose organic matter. They can also filter out toxins and they recycle nutrients back into the ecosystem. So if you see mushrooms in your garden, it's not cause for alarm. It's actually a sign of healthy soil. Mycelium is the underground network of fungal threads. You can think of them kind of like mushroom roots. They're also called hyphae. These networks exist all over the earth, from forests to grasslands, and they help to decompose organic matter and turn it into nutrient-rich soil. All mycorrhiza are mycelium, but not all mycelium are mycorrhiza. General mycelium can exist independently, whereas mycorrhizal networks require a plant partner in order to survive. Mycorrhiza, mycorrhizae, potato, potato, say it however you want, it acts as nature's internet, helping connect plants and send vital chemical signals as well as nutrients back and forth. It's sometimes referred to as the wood wide web. These fungi attach themselves to plant roots, effectively increasing their reach to the surrounding soil so they can access water and essential nutrients they would not otherwise be able to. It can even send chemical signals between plants to increase their resilience to environmental stress. The mycorrhiza give the plants water and nutrients, and in return, the plants provide them with sugars, which helps to fuel their own growth. Some mycorrhizal fungi will penetrate a plant's roots, while others will form a sheath surrounding the roots to send these signals back and forth. Avoiding excessive tilling is key because tilling your soil can break apart these delicate fungal threads. Unlike growing outside where a fungal network can exist undisturbed for years, we're growing in a greenhouse, specifically a growing dome greenhouse. And this is a very controlled environment. So on occasion, we do find ourselves needing to till or at least aerate our soils to keep our soils well draining and avoid compaction issues, which is why it's important when we're amending our garden soils to add mycorrhizal fungi so that we can restore these beneficial relationships. By adding mycorrhizal inoculants at the time of planting, greenhouse gardeners can quickly restore these beneficial fungal relationships for their plants. It's also important that when you're doing this to add some compost. Remember that mushrooms are decomposers. They feed off of that organic matter. So we wanna make sure that they have a food source as well. Minimizing the use of synthetic fertilizers and other synthetic treatments is also crucial because these chemicals can break down the fungal network and disrupt the natural nutrient cycles within your garden. We choose organic and natural amendments and fertilizers and pest treatments as much as possible for many different reasons, but this is a big one. The hidden world of mycelium and mycorrhiza play a vital role in our soil health and our plant growth cycles. Whether you're adding organic matter, avoiding excessive soil disturbance, or adding mycorrhizal inoculants into your greenhouse garden, every step towards a fungal-friendly garden is a step towards a thriving environment. Have you noticed any fungal growth in your garden? Let us know in the comments down below. Subscribe, turn on the notifications, and like this video if you'd like to see more like this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.